The full-scale war in Ukraine continues and defenders of the state in the Russian Federation are trying to isolate a large part of the Kursk region. The Ukrainian side is attempting to isolate part of the Kursk region, which is located between the Ukrainian border and the Seam River. This is almost 480 square kilometers of the region, writes Forbes. It is unclear how many more bridges, permanent or temporary, Ukrainian forces will have to destroy to effectively isolate a large swathe of Kursk Oblast adjacent to the current offensive zone. But they have likely made significant progress, the report notes. The journalists added that, according to commercial satellite images obtained by the Kursk region, the three permanent bridges that the Ukrainians attacked between Friday and Monday were the only major permanent bridges in the area. The Russians may now be relying entirely on pontoon bridges to cross the seam. The article emphasizes, the publication added that Russian forces are actively constructing temporary pontoon bridges, but they are flimsy and easier to destroy than concrete ones. If the Ukrainians have concentrated enough reconnaissance and strike assets to destroy three permanent bridges in four days, there is probably no reason why they cannot also destroy any temporary bridges that appear in the same area, the journalists believe. Recall in early August, Ukrainian soldiers began an operation in the Kursk region of Russia. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that the Ukrainian Defense Forces control more than 1,250 square kilometers of Russian territory or 92 settlements in Kursk Oblast. Ukrainian warriors continue the defensive operation in the designated areas of Kursk Oblast. As of today, our forces control over 1,250 square kilometers of the enemy's territory and 92 settlements. The strengthening of our positions, the stabilization of designated areas, and the replenishment of the exchange fund for Ukraine are ongoing, he said. The president said the operation was the largest investment in the process of liberating Ukrainians from Russian captivity. We have already captured the largest number of Russian prisoners in a single operation, and this is a significant result. This is one of our goals, and our actions continue, he said. Ivan Timochko the head of the Council of Reservists of the Ground Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine believes that the Russian Federation needs to transfer tens of thousands of invaders to the Kursk region in order to stop the offensive. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that Ukrainian forces control more than 1,250 square kilometers of territory and 92 settlements in Russia's Kursk region. In a speech on Monday, Zelensky praised his country's armed forces for cross-border attack on Russia, while highlighting Putin's inability to protect his territory from such defensive actions. Our active preventive defense is the most effective counter to Russian terror and ensures a real complication of the situation for the aggressor state. We now have an extremely important ideological change, namely, the entire naive, illusory concept of the so-called red lines regarding Russia, which dominated the assessments of the war by some partners. The world sees that everything in this war depends only on our courage, the courage of our partners, Zelensky said. The Ukrainian leader also called on Western partners to act in sync with Kyiv in countering Russian aggression. Ukrainian troops launched large-scale cross-border incursion into Russia's Kursk region on August 6. The offensive marked the largest such attack on Russian territory since the start of the war in February 2022. Ukrainian troops have been advancing in Kursk and taking hostage a large number of Russian servicemen in the region.